What's up guys? Sorry about the construction sound that you probably can hear in the background. I'll try and mask it with background music, but it's it's a lot more audible than it usually is. And also apologies for the little sabbatical on the channel. The transition from Android to iOS is pretty much complete. And I'll definitely be making a video on a lifetime Android user kind of completely moving to iOS. And if you'd be interested in that experience, uh, just let me know in the comment section and subscribe if you haven't already, uh, so that that video can hit your sub boxes when I publish it. Now I certainly don't need to remind anyone about the times that we're going through but one of the things a lot of people had to give up during these times is uh, their gym memberships. I kind of quit going to the gym way before Covid so I can't really blame that on the pandemic as well. But one of the things I adopted or one of the habits I adopted was morning jogs and I've been consistently clocking in about 100 kilometers every month since October last year. Uh, at an average pace of about 6 minutes per kilometer and this is from someone who has had no inclination to any kind of sports right through his life. So I definitely kind of consider that a bit of an achievement for me but I thought it was time to incorporate some kind of strength training into my regime. Now I did try my hand at a few resistant bands and they were good however they still kind of restrict your variety of movements in terms of weight training. So I decided on uh, a pull-up bar and a range of weights. Now I have to be honest with you, I kind of drilled the pull-up bar in my wall at the dawn of the last lockdown and I'm one of those people who cannot do a, a set of pull-ups. Uh, I'm one of those body types where my lower body weight is much more than my upper body strength. Uh, so I kind of really struggle with the one-two that I can do but I am still working on it. The weights on the other hand, I did find a lot of value in. Now me and my wife live in a 275 square foot apartment so we have to be a little mindful about space so we can't really overbuy and clutter, leave alone buying a range of dumbbells. And this is why uh, a set of adjustable dumbbells like these were right up my alley. Now as I was researching a couple of companies that makes adjustable dumbbells, I found three companies. One is a pioneer, I'm sure you've heard of them, they're a company called Bowflex and they kind of pioneered this whole design of adjustable dumbbells but they're very expensive, they cost about 57,000 rupees for a pair of the same dumbbells. Now the other two companies were Flexnest and The Cube. Flexnest is based in Haryana or Delhi while The Cube is based very much here in Mumbai. And in case I do need it after sales service, I thought the cube would be a better option. But if you stay somewhere up north in India, I would probably give Flexnest a look as well. They both cost the same. They are about a buck shy of 10,000 rupees for each dumbbell. So that's 19,998 for a pair to be precise. Now the range of both these dumbbells are the same. It starts off from 5 pounds and goes right up to 52.5 pounds. From 5 pounds to 25 pounds, it goes in a succession of 2.5 pounds. So that's 5, 7.5, 10, 12.5 and so on. And 25 pounds onwards, it goes in a succession of 5 pounds. So 25, 30, 35, 40. And after 50, you have another 2.5 pounds. So that's, that's what the whole range is for each dumbbell. That's 5 pounds to 52.5 pounds. Now adjusting these dumbbells are as simple as rotating these dials on both ends of each dumbbell. When you rotate these dials, it basically locks in a combination of plates that amount to your desired weight and that's it, you just slot it out. The great thing about it is that each dumbbell comes in this tray. So the plates that are not needed to combine to make your desired weight are left behind and they stay there in those slots. So when you're done with your set, it just slots right back in and then you can twist the dials to your next desired weight. It's pretty genius to be honest. It is a bit premature for me to give you an extensive review on these dumbbells but I can tell you this, it's definitely a purchase I do not regret. Any avid gym goer will tell you this that most of the times the actual act of getting up and going to the gym is more of a battle to be won than the workouts at the gym itself. And if you have your equipment within the confinement of your home, chances are you're probably going to work out more often. Well that's it from me. I always hang out in the comment section so if you guys have any questions please shoot them there and I will get back to you. I'll leave a link to the cube dumbbells down in the description along with a link to my socials as well. Would love to see you on those platforms too. Uh, that's it. Stay safe, stay sane and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.